guys welcome back to my channel it is Lil Castillo with your North Texas community I wanted to sit down and just kind of do a little bit of makeup and real estate I haven't done makeup in a really long time on my channel um, I did do I do a lot of vlogs and I haven't done a lot of vlogs so I wanted to kind of do a like a little sit down and ch chat with you of why I got into real estate what to think about before getting into real estate what you should prepare for getting into real estate and these are just some tips and tricks for you yeah if you like this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to like and subscribe um if you have any questions please put them down below i would love to connect with anybody that um is in the real estate or thinking about real estate or just in general you're my subscribers i would love to connect with you um but yeah i hope you enjoy without further ado let's jump right into to the video all right so um i wanted to do something different but kind of like back to what i originally started this channel with um i wanted to do makeup and talk a little bit about real estate so kind of doing uh the best of both worlds okay so i need to get ready today because i have i'm going to uh have some errands to run today and so i want to look my best so let's jump into the video i'm not going to talk about um get some i'm not going to talk about any of the products that i'm using if you want to know what i'm using um just comment down below and i'll let you know i'll try to remember what i used and put it in the description bar so that way if you're curious but pretty much i don't really think anything's really changed in my oh my god that was a lot in my makeup routine other than i don't know i've just kind of been the same i mean ever since i got into real estate i haven't really worn a whole lot of makeup because you know i'm fairly new and you know we're in a pandemic so you just i don't really go much of anywhere uh unless i'm gonna go view a house or take a video or do some um content for my social media which brings me if you're not following me on oh this looks <laughs> i look crazy if you're not following me on social media i'll have my links down below so that you can follow me because i would love to be friends with you guys look at that forehead oh my god the boys been coming at me all the time about it so um yeah i'll have my stuff down below that way um we can definitely be friends because i would love to be friends with my fellow followers and that way we can keep up with each other i love to know what everybody's up to and if you have any questions or anything like that so i i obviously need a mirror because i can't just look in the the lens so i just and this is going to be like a really like i feel like a really raw video um of like my journey of how i got here why i got here why i chose this route and i just feel like y'all are very relatable like i feel like you know why not why not because maybe somebody is kind of going through what i'm going through i mean we all kind of go through the same stuff right so why not just share it so everybody struggles no matter what so anyways i was working my job that job seen me work before if you're new to my channel hi let me introduce myself i'm lauren castillo i also go by low and i am a newly real estate agent and so yeah i want to just share my journey share what i did share how i've come this far and that way um let me see I need to, is that like too high there we go i just uh just share my journey of like just how i got here so basically um i was working my regular job and i i was working my regular job and 
COVID hit, obviously, and that was very devastating. And I just felt like, you know, I was going to be okay. I started looking into being a real estate agent, a realtor in 2018. And I was just really shy about it, like really nervous. I was comfortable at my job. I was just like, you know, set. I was content. I made, you know, decent money. And I, and I was living comfortably, I felt you know um that you know i was able to do the things that i needed to do pay my bills and my husband and i you know were taking trips and you know it's fine and so i was just like you know maybe this want of a career change is just too much and you know we just get too like content with where we are right you know like maybe that's just too much out of my league and then um in 2020 last year i decided you know what if i f always fear doing new things and thinking that you know i'll fail how am i gonna do anything in life like am i just gonna always you know like i started like doing crafts and stuff like that and that was fun um but i didn't really put a whole lot of effort into it to be honest and I didn't put a whole lot of effort into promoting makeup and doing makeup and stuff like that. I just didn't. And I and I probably should have because I love doing makeup. Like, I absolutely love it. I love transforming people. I have a passion for it. And I love just testing products, doing products and stuff like that. Doing products. What the fuck? Um, playing with products. And um, it's just... It was just one of those things. So anyways, I decided that I was going to take a leap of faith. And so early, um, early 2020, I think it was like June, I decided, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and sign up for online classes. So I went ahead and I found, um, I found an online I found an online website that was Trek approved and they're actually really they're actually approved in a lot of states and I'll do a whole new video I'll do a whole nother video about that company because I had such a great experience like I refer them to a lot of my uh, friends or just people that are curious to know where I went uh, because of you know I did it during you know the pandemic so and a lot of these places weren't doing um you know in person and they're like super expensive and so i signed up i was in it's highly afford it's very affordable like very affordable <clears throat> and um so i was just like wow this is this is this is great you know everything was just like falling into place and i was just like you know i'm gonna get i'm gonna get my license i'm gonna you know do it part-time and i keep my job and that way i can save up because real estate is not cheap okay if you are thinking about getting into real estate it is not cheap whatsoever like no it is not cheap let me just tell you it is not fucking cheap oh my god i don't want that to scare you but that is the reality of it. If you see my nose ring, just ignore it. I'm good. I'm I'm actually I ordered another one, so hopefully it's here this week. Um, I don't want that to scare you, but that is the reality of it. Like <sighs> the money racks up, girlfriend. Let me just tell you. Okay, so anyways. Um, so I was doing that. I was doing my online when I would get home from work. I was doing it on lunch break. Um, it was awesome, you know, um, and no complaints there. And I just felt like, you know, I had a plan and everything was going to work out. You know, we were facing some struggles at work, you know, with, you know, they cut hours and stuff like that. But I was still able to... I didn't think I was I didn't think I was going to be let go because of COVID. So that was my reality. 
I was let go and it absolutely sucked because I just felt like my whole plan was just oh my god I went from making good money to now I'm making no money how am I going to support this at this point I'm still at this point I'm in school so I don't have any real estate costs just yet you know because I'm just working to get my license well I worked tw I studied 12 hour days I should you not like I needed to get this done I need to get my career going I need to do what I need to do I just studied my butt off I mean I absolutely studied my butt off and I was exhausted I was you know didn't know what our future looked like like are we going to like lose everything I was absolutely scared so after everything why I got into real estate was because one I when me and Adrian bought our house, when we bought our house, uh, bought this house, this was a build. So, you know, this is a new build and we bought it directly with the builder. And we got like incentives for using their lender that they preferred and stuff like that. Well, um, we just kind of didn't know a whole lot of what we were getting into. You know, we didn't. And I just, I don't know, I, from the way we were kind of almost perceived, treated, and I mean, we weren't treated bad. I'm not going to sit here and be like, they treated us bad, but I did feel like we were just slightly judged because, you know, you know when somebody just doesn't like talk to you and you're like the only one in the freaking model home and you're just like waiting for someone to say can I help you yeah we didn't get that and um, that is a lot of people's story that is a lot of people's like nobody thought we could do it or nobody thought we could afford it because of how we look and stuff like that so anyways I wanted to educate myself and then also be that resource for my community that's why I became a realtor and and I'm not going to sit here and say because I wanted to make good money yeah of course you need to make good money and this this job allows you to make that to do that and of course you know you got to get paid for your services so I knew it's good money and I knew that I would be able to spend more time with my family and and you know be flexible and make my own hours and stuff like that I wanted to be that you know I love learning I love learning about new industries I love learning a new trade I just like being able to be like yeah I know how to do that like yeah I know I know what that entails like I love doing that I love being that for people and um so yeah that's why I chose to get into real estate because I just felt like it was right up my alley and I felt like I could just I I, I feel like I just I'm, with, I'm good with people the only thing that I will say that I've it's really hard to get me out of my shell is actually approaching people about my new career and being like you know hey I'm a real estate agent now so yeah I went I went to school I did that and um but like I said before, I definitely want to do a video about why I chose this school and stuff like that. So yes, let's talk about, now that you know like the reason why, hopefully you're still with me. I don't know, that's, we're already 17 minutes into the video. Things you need to do before you jump into being a, real, a realtor, a real estate agent, whatever you want to call it one if you do online you are going to be studying a lot i mean just depending on your schedule and how much you want to study that's on you but it is a lot you have to take accountability for you know you doing the work um because you definitely have to do the work 
and the faster you get done, faster you can get into your career and start actually like really learning. Like you're learning the laws and stuff like that and the rules and the guidelines and the terminology and everything all the steps you need to do they provide you the foundation but when you get into an actual brokerage and you actually get into a <laughs> you actually like jump into your role it's like a whole nother ball game so the best thing that i can tell you now that you know you're not at a brokerage you're not you're you're studying the best thing that i can tell you is try to like learn your market try to go out there and figure out what neighborhoods you really want to focus on and like um you know your what we call farming and i wish i would have done that whenever i was stu studying so that way i wasn't trying to figure that out once i was in my brokerage let people know that that's what you're doing so they they can already get it in your mind of like hey i'm gonna be a realtor soon if you are thinking about selling your home hang tight like i will help you and um just i mean you obviously can't like tell them anything because you're not licensed so you can't like guide them you can't do anything like that but if you let them know like hey i'm getting my license and don't just just hang tight if you can um i mean obviously if they're ready to move just prepare for a long road of learning because you're going to continue to learn i learn every day I don't think I've stopped learning. Oh, yeah, definitely do something like that. I would farm, start looking the areas you want to live, start looking at brokerages you are thinking about, and you can do this before you get licensed. So that way, when you are licensed, you already know where you want to go, and you kind of have an idea of what brokerage fits your personalities and how they can be resourceful for you and how they can help you achieve where you want to be if you don't find a brokerage if you just jump into a brokerage i mean honestly i have not had a problem with my brokerage um i i feel like they give me a lot of resources they give me a lot of information and i just have to utilize that i have to be able to take that information and use it to my advantage because you know it is a platform where everybody will help anybody will help you um if you are stuck if you need guidance um they will help you and not saying that any other brokerage won't but i have heard some stories that other brokerages like when you try to get a hold of your you know broker of record you know they are nowhere to be found because they're you know they're doing their they're doing their sales too so and when you're trying to get some guidance on something it's hard to get them on the phone uh for instance our brokerage has a whole brokerage support team somebody is going to contact you pick a brokerage that you feel suits your personality your needs and you feel like will help you grow your business because this is your business you are your own boss so which means you are responsible for your success nobody else if you are thinking about getting into real estate and you're passionate about it get into it for the right reasons don't get into it just because oh the money's great yeah the money is great but get into it because you definitely want to do something for your community that you want to help your community that you are because at the end of the day your clients or your priority they matter and they should come first when like as far as you know their wants and their needs not oh if you get this house i'm gonna make a bigger you know commission check it's not about us it is about the client and we're trying to help them achieve a goal you know what i mean so um definitely think about that have a plan get a business plan together start looking into you know business models of like okay um this is going to be my routine this is how this is where i want to be uh, my first year i want to see how um 
I need to start like going and like looking into different events, you know, putting myself out there, letting people know like, hey, I'm getting into the real estate business and I'm in school right now and you know, just start getting really social, start being proactive about it. And um, being, if you're not active on social media, start getting active on social media. We're in a new day and age. You you need to be active. But be positive, man. If you, if this is something you want to do, if this, oh, fuck. If this is something you are passionate about, if you are wanting to start a new career and you're a little nervous and um, just worried if you were going to succeed, I mean, I was there too. So don't feel like you can't achieve anything. You got this. You can achieve it. You just got to believe in yourself. So believe in yourself. It's good. You'll be fine. Um, get the right people. Um, get the right people under your team. And, you know, start looking at, you know, brokerages that have really great reviews and have good, you know. Oh, I realized look at um brokerages that have great reviews and that you feel like you know you would you could see yourself there you know um i had a conversation right before i was going to take my real estate license with a brokerage a very very top-notch brokerage and i had a two hour conversation with 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 them and two hours and they were just like you know we really would love for you to come here and um i had the you know the freaking president of the of the brokerage call me and say hey like i heard you're you you're a great candidate and i hope that you choose us and stuff like that and it's not that i didn't want to choose them it's just i i honestly could not afford them i it, the money just didn't make sense to me and it just you know they were great people they i would have loved to have worked with them but it just didn't the money just didn't match up for me at this time and unfortunately i didn't go with them and um you know the guy still you know asked me if i'm doing okay if, if you know how do i like it and stuff like that so no hard feelings or anything like that so hopefully one day i'll be able to do a business transaction with them and who knows maybe i will at a certain point in time and i will say don't let other people that have established their business on social media discourage you because it can be like oh my god they have so many clients and they're like seeing houses every day and you know what am i doing <laughs> I'm just trying to make it like don't let that discourage you because your time will come if you keep it up your time will come keep pushing yourself and give yourself those good aspirations of you know you're doing great and you're going to succeed you will do this you can make it you know give yourself that self-encouragement we need it we need to hear from ourselves we are our biggest critic i haven't been in this business long enough to even freaking put my foot in the sand that you know put my foot in the dirt um i need to stop being so really hard on myself you know i'm doing what i can with what i have and that's just really how i see it but i definitely like if you have any questions i'll leave my email down below email me if you have any concerns or maybe you're a realtor in the business and you're feeling down um i want to talk like I am so down to connect with other agents you don't have to be from Texas you don't have to um, you know be in the same state as me uh, so just shoot me an email and just be like hey I totally feel you on this or I'm feeling the exact same way I'm a new agent like we can definitely support each other I am so here for the support girl like because we all need it i need it all right guys so i know this video was kind of like all over the place because i haven't done this in forever and i just i kind of wanted to fill you guys in on what's been going on with me and how i feel about real estate why i got into real estate what i feel like you should think about before you get into real estate and just to kind of get a little prepared if you are in the process or you want to go ahead and jump into the process and again i am here 
if you need anything i'll have all my information down below um contact me let me know let's link up if you are a realtor in the area or not in the area i would love to connect with you and i would love to be friends um if even if it's just for support and that is my dog ghost hush so yeah i hope you enjoyed the video i hope it was i hope that it helped i hope that you found it helpful i hope it, i didn't make it sound so scary because i don't want it to sound scary i want it to be more of um a reality and i don't want to paint it like it's like this glamorous life like out out the gate and um i just wanted it to be really like upfront with you and i just wanted to be upfront with you and what you could expect so i hope that you found it very insightful and if you like these videos give it a thumbs up comment <laughs> Comment down below if you have any questions and I will definitely get back to you and answer those questions to the best of my knowledge. Until then guys, have a great day and the rest of your week and until my next video, I'll see you guys later. Bye!